A long-standing tradition at Bemidji State University is back this weekend. The Fantastic Dance Follies kicked off tonight, and our Brenda Mack has more. The Fantastic Dance Follies are back, and it's your 70th year. Uh, 70 years of Follies is a huge deal to me. I grew up in Bemidji, so I grew up watching Dance Follies. This is the second longest tradition at BSU, trailing behind its football team. The student-run production is led by Susie and Honda School of Dance who found a love of their own. We met during the show. <laughs> so, yes, that's true. I married the teacher's daughter. Yeah. And now we have two beautiful young daughters. So that means quite a bit. For others, it is dance who found them. Oh my goodness. Once you start dancing, it's infectious. You know, it gets into your soul. Like I, you know, I never, never imagined. I had nothing like this in my high school or like, you know, growing up. And the best part about being in Dance Follies is the creativity and passion the team feeds off each other. I know, I know people here who have like notebooks just filled with like choreograph ideas, you know. It really, really is rewarding to see the students grow so much. We do it for them. Some dancers took months of practice and some in a matter of nights. Whatever it is, the cast assures a fun performance. Our cast is a little bit smaller this year than in years past, but I think that's uh, maybe let us step up our game a little bit more. Expect something different every night. Yeah. So it's not the same show from night to night. And there are a couple things in it this year that we've never done before, but you have to come and see it. In Bemidji, Brenna Mack, Lakeland News. The show will continue throughout the weekend with one week, one performance tomorrow and two set for Saturday. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.